get out of here, Enduro team. And I will be on your videos. <laughs> right, where's my condition? Man, if you get sun up here, you can just like really splatter into it. Oh. You're watching a YouTube cinematic creation that has been edited together by Endurotainment and posted on YouTube for your viewing. <laughs> Endurotainment! Tainment! What if you pee yourself, dude? I could pee myself right now. <laughs> if, you, if you do it. Oh my god. This dude is out of you win, baby! Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody, enough of the shenanigans. We're gonna get right to the racing. This is the first row going, uh, first 10 riders for the Donner Hard Enduro, about to start. Looks like Colton, Cody, Tristan, Will blasting in. And then we got the second row starting of the uh, second 10, about to go off. Oh, and look, it's the purple boy on the left, James Flynn with the whole shot. Okay, so this is Cody coming in. Leading right now, this section is uh, around Spectator Hill. He's followed by Tristan. I think they're the only two, no, there's three that hit that uh, rock wall in the first lap. You got Colton coming in, he's hanging third right now. And then you're gonna have Keith Curtis he comes and hits this wall and barely makes it up. Oh, buddy, dude. He hurt it. The rest of the guys seem to go around. Uh, probably wasn't worth the risk. Plus, they're so tightly packed that there's a whole bunch of dust. And uh, I wouldn't want to throw that line down without a clear view at it. So, yeah, this is the beginning of the race. So they're just kind of settling in. Um, and there's going to be a lot of passes made between now and the next uh, spot that I catch them at. So I ran over here to quick catch a few of the guys hitting this little hill called Spectator Hill. There goes Ryder LeBlanc. I missed the top few guys, but yeah, this is Spectator Hill. Tons of people around. So I forget the name of this section, but I managed to catch Tristan as he was coming up it and as I was falling up the hill trying to catch him. But yeah, he makes this look so easy. And then we got the big banana man, Cody Webb, coming in closely behind Tristan in second place. And he's still just getting over an injury, still potentially uh, injured, had a knee injury at Erzberg, but that won't stop Cody from coming to put on a show for us. Hello, Cody. Got Will coming in. Will Riordan. So Will the Beast Riordan, he's holding down third place right now. Then you got uh, Ryder Guest followed by Ryder LeBlanc. Nice job, Will.
you have Ryder there making a quick pass on Ryder there. Or wait, uh, they're both named Ryder. The guy in front is actually Ride Diarrhea LeBlonde, just to differentiate the two. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so Ryder's pulling up there in fourth place, and then uh, Ryder Guest here um, pulling in fifth. Oh boy. Oh my, dude, you... Hell yeah, dude. And then we got Keith Curtis coming in, and then you got James Flynn holding down 6th and 7th. Yeah, you can typically see James because he's wearing purple. He's a purple boy. So I got super excited the way James went up this because he went so slow, I did not think he was going to make it up, but he was like holding traction so well. Just look at this, so slow, just creeping up that. Pretty impressive. Wow, fuck yeah, James. Got Brandon Petrie here. Brandon. He, he has a pretty good run in this race. You'll see towards the end, uh, Brandon makes up a lot of time, makes a lot of, a lot of passes. Hell yeah, Brandon! Here I'm sprinting to catch He's Cody. Take the line like he said he would. Right here, right here. Yeah, no, I know. Holy shit. I did not know that was going to happen. Hell yeah, Cody. <laughs> Fucking animal. So that was obviously Cody. He's still in second place. And he's following Tristan Hart, who's in first place. And this is Tristan coming in to a section called the Double A Hills. They're probably about 70% of the way, 60% of the way through the first lap. And out of all the guys, Tristan, for some reason, can handle these loose rocks better than anybody else. I don't know how he does it. I talked to him a bit after the race, and he just ran so smooth through these, didn't spin any holes, wasn't kicking a ton of rocks, just he glided over them. Super impressive. Yep. Dude, he made that so easy. Pardon my heavy breathing. Uh, I'm constantly running around like a freaking lunatic. So, uh, don't let it stress you out. Dude. I need my drone for this. That Cody Webb coming through the same section. Let's see if he cuts it like tight like Tristan. Probably saved a whole bunch of time. I hope he walked this. Come on, Cody, come up. Uh, so the big banana man, Cody, looked at the line. I was like high and tight right, but didn't go that way. But yeah, he goes down and then he realizes like, oh crap, you know, trying to get a dig start from down there probably isn't happening. So he comes up and uh, resituates and makes his way across the same line Tristan did.
So Cody, from the get-go, was having there. some like uh, cramping, you know, arm pump issues from the start. Maybe it's from uh, not doing a ton of riding lately, but uh, he gets on and keeps on keeping on. Nice job, Cody. Section will probably walk to with Tristan. He knows. He knows the line. He walked it also. Otherwise, he's going way down. He's got it. Yeah, that spot right there was definitely worth walking because, uh, yeah, you're not making it up from the very bottom. I'm kind of curious what happened with some of the guys who came in later on. They probably saw the line. They probably got a good little rut started after all those guys just went through it. Nice job, Ryder. This rider pinned it up this hill past Will who got stuck. Shit. Yeah, Will coming in frame. So this race Super features smart. another epic battle between Ryder and Will. <laughs> Ryder's getting up there. <laughs> Alright, Ryder made it over the top. Not far at all behind Will. Probably a little bit. A little bit pumped up right now. High heart rate. The rider has a naturally pretty low heart rate. All right. Let's go, rider. This is your jam, bro. This is your jam. Oh, he is. He is. He is feeling it. Come on, rider. Right down there. There you go. Nice. Let's go catch him on top of the world. So this section oh. is called Top of the World, and Tristan, Tristan, still in first place, is coming in. And I walked this section at the beginning of the uh, day, and it is super gnarly, super steep. So Tristan's the first one to attack it. So after Tristan made it through, I was up here enjoying the views, waiting for Cody to come through. And uh, to my surprise, 
through the dust was Will. Oh shit! So Will's in second place here. Will. Somewhere made the pass on Cody. So Will's coming into top of the world. Dude, Will made the pass on Cody. Nice job, Will! And lo and behold, a wild ride diarrhea approaches. Hungry. Nice job, Ryder. Very tactful. This was Ryder passing through top of the world in third place and Tristan was far enough ahead that I did not catch him back at these uh, this first start section called Spectator Hill but this is Will coming through in second place um, still not hitting the wall kind of disappointed in you Will you know <laughs> but yeah so Will's coming through this and then Ryder's basically right behind him um, hungry to catch Will so check it out So yeah, this is still Ryder coming down to hit Spectator Hill. Remember, he's in third place, and this is the second lap. So Tristan, Will, the Ryder, and maybe Cody's back there? I don't know. So Tristan, again, was too far ahead. I didn't catch him at this spot, but I did end up catching Will, um, making up the section that I did not get on the first lap. So let's see how Will does this on the second lap. I don't know what the fuck that is.
Nice job, Will. So came back down to the bottom of that section to catch so Ryder up. coming up. You kind of go left now. Wait, they like they cut off that right side. She goes left. Yeah. You're making up time! And little did he know, despite my lying to him, that he actually was making up time. And as I was scrambling down that section with my short shorts on, heading towards my bike, I had just realized that, oh my gosh, the big banana Kodadaya Webenstein was upon us. And he'd caught Ryder. Or coming very close to catching Ryder with his bike missing pieces. Nice job, Will. Where the fuck is Ryder? Question, where is Ryder? Yeah, no, he was, uh, he was actually down, I didn't see him, but he was down there uh, mixed and matched with the, with the lappers trying to catch Will, but I was not able to stick around to catch him going all up the hill because I had to jet to the next spot to, to catch them. Will Riordan. Oh, fuck. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Whoa. Okay, so I gotta watch that again because he's the only one I saw do something like that. A wild step Holy down off the shit. wall. Will Riordan. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Whoa. All right, we got Ryder Long coming in. He's third place. It's like a minute and a half behind Will. Go, Ryder! Nice. So as I was leaving this section, Cody Webb again catches me off guard, closing in on Ryder uh, down the same section you just saw Ryder go down. It's a kind of a rolling double step. And there goes Will going towards the double A section. He's still in second place behind Tristan. And here comes Ryder holding down third place, chasing down Will. Good job, Ryder. And I'm not sure who this guy is, but uh, he's coming in, it looks like fourth place, somewhere behind Ryder. Um, he seems to be a pretty good rider though, this guy. <laughs> but I'm not sure what's more impressive, this guy's riding or this guy's running. Look at it, Cody. So as I was ripping over to the double A section that was next for these guys, I saw Cody at the checkpoint and I didn't get it on camera, but he was like revving his bike and it sounded like, I don't know how to describe it, but like it wasn't, was not running properly. So back to Will and Ryder. Ryder is making some spicy moves, trying to get past Will while Will's stuck kind of behind these lappers. 
and it doesn't work out for Ryder. He ends up, you know, dropping his bike and having to go back down the hill to retry to catch Will. This is an epic battle uh, with these two guys here. And I could not believe my eyes. I was expecting to see Will there, and then I see Will behind Ryder. Bulldog in it. Super fun battle to watch between Will and Ryder. So as I'm bushwhacking my way to the next section, I come across this mid-race swap meet going on with this banana colored man Cody Webb taking his bike apart putting new parts on his bike apparently I think he had like a, a voltage regulator fail twice so yeah he was behind probably 30 40 minutes so poor guy but here comes Will Riordan I don't know if he was in front or behind Ryder at this point this is on my way back up to top of the world so I couldn't hang around to see if Ryder was behind him, so I had to rush up the hill and wait to see who is in second place and who is in third place because we know Boss Daddy Tristan Hart was in first place somewhere. And out of the dust, who might it be? Oh, it's Factory Husqvarna Rider, Rye Diarrhea Le Brunette. That is one excited boy. Once he makes it up this final hill, that's a locked in second place for Ryder. That's retirement money cashing out on this race. Nice job, Ryder. Okay, here comes Will. Final lap, coming into top of the world. Third place. Crazy battle with Ryder. Ah, I don't like that, dude. We'll like that. Dreamy. Yeah, Brandon Petrie weaseling his way in the fourth place. Oh yeah, boy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. No, Brandon, not sorry, man. It's sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. But in all seriousness, super congrats on the fourth place. I think he worked his way back from like ninth or tenth or something like that. So pretty impressive. Man, that could have been worse than it was. That fucking sucked, man. So we got Colton Haker. I don't know where he came from, but he manages his way into fifth place here he's got some lappers to deal with but uh colton's a great dirt bike rider he's good with wheel placement and if he needs to he'll use these guys bikes for traction And knowing Colton, he likes to leave no stone unturned, so the next lapper in the way, he makes sure to touch his bike with his bike to assert dominance <laughs> as he makes his passes. Ooh, big Patty Colton! Oh shit. So epic little battle between the Hawaiians here. He had, Co he had Coelho, I think that's how you say his name. He fell over and then Ryder Guest was back there and that line he just took to pop over, adding insult to injury, roosting his boy. <laughs> All in good fun. But yeah, that was a sick line he took there. <laughs> And out of nowhere from his course side swap meet, Mr. Cody Webb comes out of freaking nowhere and starts pushing his bike up the side that nobody has yet ridden and bulldogs his way up. And uh, he, I know he passed Coelho here, but I don't know who else he passed on his way from the double A hills while he was down uh, maintaining his bike. So congrats Cody for finishing, finishing strong too. I think he got seventh place. So sick riding, dude. Hell yeah. And Coelho after dropping his bike and getting roosted, he makes it. And then who do we have coming up now? Oh wait, it's the purple boy James Flynn coming up the line Cody took, trying to run me over. And James doesn't like riding his dirt bike. He prefers to push it uh, up the hill. He needs some backpack straps that he could just so he could just carry his bike up the hill, because uh, that's kind of James' style. No, I'm just kidding, James. But yeah, James pretty efficiently gets up this. I think James got eighth place. Keith Curtis is the last guy I got coming through here. I know there was definitely more finishers, so I think Keith was ninth place. He's a big mountain rider, big snowmobile guy. Uh, I know him and James, you know, they were, they've been battling and they wanted to beat each other, but I think James got the best of them. And there's the ginger man who was peeing himself earlier in the race. But besides all that, there's your top finishers, Tristan Hart. Ryder LeBlanc in second and Will Riordan in third place. Congratulations, you guys. Freaking sick riding, sick battles. And uh, yeah, obviously stay tuned because in another two weeks or a week and a half or so, we've got Tennessee Knockout coming with an overlap of the FIM series and the AMA Hard Enduro series. So that's going to be sweet. Uh, I'm curious to how this stacks up with our... Uh, all US series riders and the European series riders. 
Uh, it'll be a fun time, but thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.